Welcome to the Windows Computer Technology Channel and another error message that you might have uh, fallen on while surfing the web is 403 forbidden. What does that mean? Well, when you go on websites, of course, you will sometimes have pages that are in directories and subdirectories. It's a little bit like the file explorer. Um, websites are divided into different um, folders and placed in different areas. And basically, you have different categories of users that will actually go into these different areas. Uh, an example, you can come across a page that asks for um, a username and a password. Well, that is one category of site that you need to log in to get to the folders, to the pages that you want to see. Um, most websites actually have a open space, meaning you have the main page where everybody has all the information you can see. But they often have hidden places that are not meant for anyone to be seen or very specific people only. And that is where forbidden is. That means you have clicked or have accessed a forbidden place. You're not supposed to be here. This isn't for you. Usually, 403 will often happen more on a website where you will manually enter the URL in the address bar and make a mistake. You might, by accident, make a mistake that gives you a web access to a, a folder or a page that actually does exist, but it's not meant for the general public. So it will give you the error 403 forbidden. You're not supposed to be here. So this is very specific places that are often only internally accessible or very specific people will have access to it, but the general public shouldn't be seeing this. So uh, this could happen. But like I said, it rarely happens when you're on a page and you click something because most of the time uh, the pages have been actually built around the fact that you should be able to access the different links, the different areas. But sometimes it can happen. They can you know, just misplace a link, for example, or post a link on the web page that shouldn't be there. And when you click on it, it tells you, oh, it's forbidden. You're not supposed to be here. But like I said, most of the time is you'll type it manually and make a mistake and um, just you know stumbled upon an access of forbidden. An example that I have that I've uh, come across on 403 is a website that has some articles and they are actually by date. So on the URL, you will see the website uh, and then slash uh, the month and the year and the day. So sometimes when I see this, I understand that if I actually modify the day or the month, I might actually have access to information from another time that is stored on the website. But sometimes that information shouldn't be seen by regular folks. So what happens is that if you see a website that has a date in the URL, you change that date to, say, another month. Instead of August, you put September. Well, maybe the September one is not supposed to be seen, so it's going to give you forbidden. It's not going to tell you it doesn't exist. It just tells you you're not allowed to be here. So that's 403. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.